Hey, Zombie Nation. <clears throat> Sorry about the throat. I am back. Been gone a while. My pipe is an old Savinelli uh, green alligator. It lost a lot of its green. <laughs> but it's still smoking good. And in it, I've got some Colt Blood Red Moon. Very good stuff. Now, I am one of those crazy prepper guys. And that really helped this last year. All you guys were struggling for toilet paper and all kinds of weird stuff. I was sitting at home. Not too worried. Went out once in a while and got what I could. But nothing I had to get. So that started me thinking. I'm going to start a series of prepper videos. Won't be anything too intense. Um, mostly just getting ready for any little things that come up. Like this last year, you know, toilet paper problems sometimes. Hard to get to a store other times. Hard to find stuff on the shelves when you want to. It's a lot easier when you have stuff in your basement. Or in another room or in your barn or in your wherever and you only go to the grocery store to get things that are available but you don't have to get them makes a big difference I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet I might do a little storyline with it I uh, developed it 10 years ago probably to some degree I might have to dust off the cobwebs and see if I can uh, put it on video it might be a little more entertaining than just somebody sitting here going, you got to get this, this, and this. Again, it's the basics, the most important thing for you to possibly get. Not guns, not ammo, none of that BS. Food. Food and water. Stack your food high, stack your food deep. Get water. Get ways to purify water if you can't store hundreds and hundreds of gallons. We'll go through some of that stuff. But get ready, just in case. Electrical outages, like they have down in Texas at times now, and other things going on. It, it helps to have stuff sitting around that you can use in case of emergency. And you never know when the zombies will come. <laughs> <laughs> 